Learn to preach the truth to yourself. He preaches the truth to himself throughout this psalm. Notice verse 5. He says, Why are you downcast, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Verse 11 says the same thing. See, there's two important elements of all preaching. One is establishing the need, and then the other is understanding the solution. Here he establishes a need as he looks at his own soul and says, Why are you disquieted? Why is it you're downcast? He's looking at that that downcast countenance. He's looking at that disquieted soul. And he's saying, these these are not good things. This is not just something to learn to uh, coexist with. There needs to be some solution. And he points to God, the Lord, the hope that's in the Lord as the solution that he needs. He preaches to himself. He sees the need. And then he sees the solution that's in God, his hope, his salvation. I want you to think about it. In your mind, you are either passively listening to your sinful heart speak to you, or you are actively preaching the truth to yourself. Now think about that. You in your your mind, all those words that you hear in your mind, you are either passively listening to your sinful heart speak, or you are actively speaking the truth. You're actively preaching the gospel to yourself. You know what it's like when you're passively listening. And you, it's like you hear that voice. Maybe it's, it's you're listening to yourself. Uh, think about your past sins. And you think to yourself, can I really be forgiven? of what I've done? Could God really love me after what I've done? Or maybe that, that speaking that you're hearing inside your mind is just like the wallowing in self-pity. Maybe you have been offended. Maybe you have been hurt by somebody, but in your mind you just keep going over it and over it and over it and the anger and bitterness just wells up. You know the experience, be honest of when in your mind you're telling somebody off and you're just listening to yourself go off on that person, listen, you are either sinfully, or excuse me, you're passively listening to your sinful speak or you're preaching the truth to yourself. You're saying, no, God demonstrated his love for me in that while I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me. You preach the gospel to yourself. You're reminded that while you have been offended in life, while people have sinned against you, you have a spirit of forgiveness because God has forgiven you. And so you preach the truth to yourself. You say to yourself, no self, I must be tender hearted. I must be forgiving because God has forgiven me in Christ. You see what I'm saying? This is so important when it comes to self-counsel. You're either passively listening to yourself drone on and on and on, or you're actively speaking the glorious truth of the gospel to yourself. And that's what the psalmist here does. Why is it soul that you're in such turmoil? Why countenance are you downcast? Hope in God. He's my rock. He's my salvation, my deliverance.